Hi everyone this is a real real first on the series i'm so excited that i had to go and get clean shaved for it but i reached out to my friend robert bacco the creator the author of things jeremy says to do for this crazy idea of converting it into a podcast of 3 to 4 minutes and like like with all of my crazy ideas that i get after having a strong cup of chai he really liked it so i have rob on the series rob thanks for saying yes yeah absolutely i'm super excited to be talking about this could you please introduce yourself i know i've already interviewed you so i'd point the audience to that uh, episode but if you could just tell us what things you're working on right now and how you got into fast day yeah my name is robert bracco uh i'm based out of the us i got into fast ai uh through twitter <laughs> like probably many people i saw a link i clicked it and i was like this is exactly what i'm looking for at this moment in time this is amazing uh so i threw myself into it and started working on projects uh and to talk about how we got here uh i actually read one of your pieces how not to do fast ai i was about <laughs> looking for advice uh before i took the course like how can i make the most out of it and i read uh, a good number of posts including yours and the primary piece of advice people had was you know really listen to jeremy when he says go do this when he says spend time with the code when he says don't get too bogged down in theory and then i also looked at the regrets people had and the number one regret was i wish i'd listened to what jeremy said so i was <laughs> like ah oh. then maybe he's saying uh something important so i just said i'm going to kind of go through and pull uh all the little tidbits of advice he gives throughout each lecture and just summarize them for my own understanding and hopefully for everybody's benefit and yeah a lot of people found value in it, i think so here we and are since, since and this this was from the 2019 course for the audience but every yeah. year there's a fast day course it's like a tv show that keeps getting better every new season it's much better but there are these little advices that jeremy just mentions in running and that's just pure gold so i reached out to rob do you want to convert this into a 3 minute podcast so that anyone can listen to this even though like whenever they listen to this and maybe take a bit of jeremy's wisdom through this and luckily you said yes yeah definitely i think just uh making sure these little pieces of advice uh that have been so helpful to us get passed on to kind of the next generation in case you know jeremy forgets to mention them uh i'm sure he'll have all new wisdom in the 2020 course for everybody so Um yeah just trying to make sure this stuff gets pushed forward and people get as much out of it as we've gotten. For sure. And to put a disclaimer I know Robert is much smarter than I am and much wiser with the materials but this is our interpretation and our summaries of the course and even though we've been involved with the course for a long time if we miss something and we might please let us know wherever you're watching this just tweet at me or at rob and we'll figure out how to add this but with that disclaimer out of the way it's just our interpretation of jeremy's concepts and the lectures so take that with a little bit of grain of salt uh, it's really to help you in the course and not act as a substitute yeah absolutely there's no substitute for the course especially not in 3 minutes yeah um that said let's jump into the advice uh this is going to be more intro advice that we've kind of pulled out from the course from different lectures that we think would be good for people going into a course maybe starting uh the 2020 course um more general things that'll be useful to you not really specific things about code or about neural networks but about how to learn um so jumping right in this is probably the most important it's okay to feel intimidated there's a lot uh but just pick one piece and dig into it uh try to push a piece of code or learn a concept like regular expressions or create a classifier or whatever. Um I know this is true for me when I started fast AI it was like oh yeah I got to learn Jupyter I got to learn GitHub fast AI NumPy pandas everything and you can't learn everything at once. So try and figure out what's the next most important thing to learn and just chew on that for a while and Uh, I also found that a lot of things I picked up and decided I'm going to learn this now, I didn't learn it. That wasn't right for me and I had to set it back down and come back to it 2 months later. So it's okay to feel intimidated, accept that and uh just take it one step at a time and don't give up. It's it's really hard also and there's a lot of things that you see on Twitter 
you get excited about there's a lot of people you see on fast day many 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 amazing people jason ant is creator of deoldify hangs out there many amazing kaglers hang out there and you have absolutely no clue of what's going on you've just signed up for the lecture i still feel it every day i i keep forgetting what's the data block api i keep forgetting everything <laughs> and there's this urge to let me go back and look this up to not look so dumb and probably that's that's not the best idea instead you should focus on building something and that'll help you navigate the material much better at least in my opinion yeah i, I completely agree awesome um a few other pieces of advice uh don't waste your time learn jupiter keyboard shortcuts learn 4 to 5 each day and this kind of speaks to a more general idea that uh we're going to be spending our time on computers in programs like vs code in jupiter and so to find the most efficient way to code is kind of just important as learning the language itself yep um and throughout the course jeremy gives advice on different things like being able to jump to different points in your code effectively um but i think for people starting out the easiest one you can start with is getting to know the jupiter keyboard shortcuts because a they're really easy they're really intuitive and b jupiter's a nightmare if you are trying to do everything from the toolbar i don't know a single practitioner out there who is you know using a mouse and going up and clicking insert new <laughs> cell run cell uh so really just uh spend a few minutes each day and just pull up the keyboard shortcuts list you can do that by hitting h uh in jupiter and you'll get a list pick out a few that might be useful and just kind of get in the habit of using them and you know it's you don't even have to work that hard at it you'll pick them up no problem just make sure you're uh kind of chipping away at that over time i mean having having a mouse is really good but if you look at any good practitioner they barely touch it they mostly stick to the keyboard because it it makes that little difference that really shoots your productivity much much higher yeah yeah i couldn't agree more and next advice uh these are just kind of little things to get started with the course yeah uh please follow the official server install slash setup instructions. You will need like a remote server like Google Cloud or Paperspace or Colab. Uh, and sometimes those things can be really frustrating to get started at the start of a class if you don't have much like DevOps or sysadmin experience. Uh, and they do an amazing job of having a tutorial with illustrations that even for people who have no DevOps ability like myself can just follow and copy paste other people's commands to get you going so that you can focus on what's important which is uh the content of the course and deep learning For um sure. and and lastly oh yeah go ahead to linger on to that i feel like this is a walk through fire situation or like a secret oath that everyone takes when you starting into deep learning i i really struggled with having my like since i got my own server it's an absolute nightmare to keep it running sometimes some kernel breaks by kernel i mean uh, the cuda kernel i constantly need to up- update drivers that keeps breaking so really really nail down your installation in the first place spend an entire day spend entire two days on having it perfectly in place because it's it's a big headache to go back and keep fixing things while you're trying to build new stuff and check check out the already placed resources in on the course website because those are neat and those work perfectly but really really spend time on making sure that your ser- server setup or whatever your remote instance setup is just perfect yeah absolutely get it right and if you have trouble with it reach out on the forums there's tons of people to help that's one of the best things about fast ai is the forums and the community um which segues into our last advice uh sometimes you'll click a thread and you'll see you're not used to using discourse forums you'll see 200 posts and like oh my god how am i supposed to use <laughs> read all these replies uh and there's a summarize this topic button which is awesome and it goes through and just kind of pulls out for you the most liked post and the most useful ones so that you can read a uh, a 10 post summary out of 200 and if you then decide oh no i really need more there's something else i'm looking for you can go through and use the search function or even read all 200 replies if that's what uh you want to do totally i i've I found and even Zachary Mueller mentioned like using Fastay forums as our own version of Reddit is really nice. So I try to read all of the comments. If you don't have the time, don't worry about it. But remember, it's a very welcoming community. As long as you do your homework, you can ask anyone any question, but be respectful of their time, and they will always, always help you. I can promise you that. Absolutely, that's been my experience. 
Awesome. I can't wait to talk about all of the other lectures. So audience, please check out the next seven lectures for all of the seven summaries. And thanks, Rob, for saying yes to this crazy idea of mine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Super excited. If you like the show, please subscribe and tune in each week to Chai Time Data Science.